walks four-wheel drive, we do our best to uh, uh, get a lot of things made for these old Jeeps that you can't find anymore. Nobody makes them. Everything on an old Jeep, they're rusted away and gone. Uh, so a lot of these parts we have made, we get a lot of stuff made in the USA so we can try and keep quality control on it. We try to reproduce these parts as close to the factory specifications as we possibly can so that when you get these parts, you don't have to do any modifying or messing around with them to put them on, but you just weld on or bolt on. We get these parts exclusively made for us at Walks 4 Wheel Drive, and here's another Walks 4 Wheel Drive exclusive part. Another thing we refroed here at Walks 4 Wheel Drive was what the uh, Jeep people call the hall light. This was used about from late 1956 up to about 69 on all the wagons, trucks, and uh, CJ5s and 3Bs. It was a, a, a metal stamp housing light with a plastic lens and had a big snap ring that held the lens in. And we also, when we did them uh, on the passenger side on like the CJ the CJ's, most of them had this tail light extension on, so we had them made with that. So you have the option of using that or don't. If you don't want to use it, you can take it off. But the, the pickup trucks uh, usually never had them on. And only the real late station wagons right at the end of the line started using these. And I don't, from what I could tell, I don't think they had that on either. But the CJ's had this on. It was the, supposedly to light the license plate up a little bit better with the light away from the body. And... Uh, uh, there's a nice uh, finishing touch for your old Jeep when you're restoring a little bit later model uh, Jeep. These also have the double filament uh, bulbs in them. You know, so you use one light for your turn signal and your brake light and the other light for your uh, t regular tail light. And uh, there again, 6 or 12 volts, 11.54 on the 6 volt, 11.57 on the 12 volt. Uh, these do come with 12 volt bulbs in them. Most people are on 12 volts anyway. If you need six volts, you just have to buy extra bulbs. Some of the other parts we did here at Walks 4 Wheel Drive, uh, we made the transfer case boot that was used on the early Willie station wagons and trucks uh, from like 19, uh, I think about 48 on the trucks when they went to 4 Wheel Drive and the wagons went to 4 Wheel Drive in 49 up to like 1953. Uh, these boots were used on the floors that had the flat top where the transmission cover was on and uh, these weren't available for years, but we have these now, and they're the correct boot and fit, and they're pretty nice quality on those. And then also, we did the, the 1954 and up Willie station wagon and truck boots that were used with the bigger, round, the bigger rounded hump floor. Uh, and most of those had L226 motors in, the uh, dual case shifter boots for the transfer case. On the early wagons, trucks, and jeepsters on the firewall where the emergency brake cable came out the firewall there was a little boot on there to prevent the air from going up into the cab and uh, they were used from from the beginning on 46 on the wagon, 48 to 51 on the jeepster and then like 47 when the truck came out and it was used up to 1953 uh, the, these were used with a emergency brake that had the cane handle under the dash on the left side uh, before they went to the T-handle over under the on the right side under the dash. Uh, this product is a product that wasn't available for a long time so we also have these. Just putting them, putting them up under the dash. <laughs>